hi everybody it's carol welcome back to my channel what i'm going to do now is i'm going to take a page out of my glue book and i have quite a few pages in here so i'm going to start with one and see how far along i get and i've gotten a couple of requests on what i do after i glue inside my glue book which is an, an old coloring book for me and so I'm just going to take a look here and see how, what I'm probably going to do is just slice it in half and then in threes I just wonder if they're if it'll be big enough I may have to I may have to just slice it in half Um, let's see if I do threes, it'll be about that big. Well, you know what? Let me do that. I'm just going to cut it in half. This looks like half. So I'm just going to go by go by eye and cut it okay so there's one yeah these are going to be on the smaller side okay and what I do sometimes is I turn the paper around and I just cut it blindly and I've done that the last few times so I just thought I would come along and just just cut it by looking at it so okay Alrighty, so let's see what we have here now. We have six of these, and I will back these with coffee dye paper. I don't, or another thing I do is I'll take a page out of the book, out of one of these books, and I'll use the plain side, and I will. if you see what I mean and I'll use that for I'm gonna do that right now so I'm just gonna use my glue stick and I'm gonna glue glue this plain piece of paper on there I could do it now or wait until after they're decorated as I use them but I'm going to do it now because sometimes I'll be like, why didn't I back it up earlier, you know, instead of leaving it all right before I use it. Okay, where are my scissors? Here they are. And I, I like to use the uh, plain papers in a book because I like the way this paper feels for journaling. Turn that down a little bit. Okay, put that off to the side. So now here's my journaling spot. And let's see. I have another page I could get a couple on here I'm just maybe I'll just do a couple of these to show you how I do it I could probably get maybe two out of here I don't know
probably easier to try and do it this way. I'm looking for my smaller ones so I can hopefully get two. These are the two smaller ones that I had. Okay, I could put it on this way. Oh, this one is already plain. Oh, this is the one I just used. Oh my gosh. What a long day. This is mid-afternoon crafting for me. Okay, I'm just going to do two of these just to show you how I do it, which, you know, you already probably do it yourself this way, and, and I'm really not showing you anything, anything new that you really don't already know. Okay. And then I'll get to decorating them. Okay, let's see. Okay this put off to the side okay let's get to decorating these now okay let's start with this one um, I will round the corner well you know what I don't I really don't know how I'm gonna use them so I'm not gonna round the corners right now but let's see what I can do with this one. I have quite a few pieces of ephemera out here. And I'm just trying to see what I, what I can put on here. So I have a bow. And... I have a bird. You know what? This may be a good, a good, um, I'm going to end up covering up this bow. I know I am. I just want, I want to bring some more color into here. Maybe I'll just cover up half of the bow. But I'm going to start with the glue stick and this is tissue paper that I have and I think it, it's just so pretty to layer with okay so I will cut the rest of this off Now it'll make it easier for me to, to decorate, hopefully. Okay, let's see. I think I may just be starting all over. That bow was in a very, in the middle of the page. Okay, so this bird, not liking the bird on here. I do have other flowers and these, of course, these are from my cards, my card collections. Not thrilled about that. Okay. Okay. So I have a word I can put, oh, a butterfly on there. That looks, that looks pretty. And putting the, um, the butterfly on there, having a blue butterfly really 
gives it some color, which is nice. And then I have another little tag here. Okay, I think I'm liking that. Oops. Okay, I think I like I think I like this number on the upper right and the butterfly in between the dictionary definition and the number. And I especially like it that it's blue. I like this butterfly. Okay, and I think I will round these corners because I'm going to put a lacy tag on the top. My mat's a little crooked, okay. glue that a little better and I'm gonna round oh, this didn't round too good okay where is where's my ink oh here you go I'm going to ink this and then I'm going to put some, make a lace tag on the top. Okay, I think this looks nice. I will use it for, as a for a journaling card. Okay, there's one. And what I wanted to do is the window. Now, maybe I wouldn't have to cover this because you would be able to journal on it, but I'm not going to cover it now, but I may in the future. Let me just, or when I go to use it, let me get smaller flowers here. Maybe I'll put the flowers over here and look at this beautiful beautiful bird right there on the window, on the window ledge. Let me ink this bird a little bit. with me.
I love to put flowers on the window ledge. I've decorated quite a few of these windows. And that's what I usually do is put flowers on the shutters. I think it looks so pretty. Okay. I'm going to try and move this bird over a little bit if I can. Okay, looking good. What else do I have here? Okay, I have this pretty green. That looks nice there. But it may look better over there. And do I need something on the bottom? Let me see. I could put the green actually right there and that one over there I think it looks nice put that there okay this is looking good Oh, here's my glue stick. I'll tell you, I put it down and then I don't see it and it's right in front of my eyes. Okay, let's see. So pretty. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to, because I don't know. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to round the corners. Oh, you know what's going on over here? I don't have the backing on here and it's not very strong so it's going to be hard to round these corners because I don't have it coffee dyed in the back. Okay, I'm just going to move that off to the side. Okay. I do like this. It looks pretty. Okay, so we're going to put those two down there and let's do the tea time. Tea time. Tea time with maybe some flowers well I don't know if I have anything small enough for that I'm wondering if I can I was thinking of maybe cutting those oh Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put I'm going to put these labels on here. I'm only going to use half a label. Or here. Okay, here's a a little saying. Before the doer you know what, I'm not even going to attempt to read it because it's a little smudgy. 
but it looks nice so I'm gonna put that there and that went on top of it and I can put this field notes let me just start with these This one over here. Oh, what happened? Oh, it's stuck on there. And what I can do is put some washi tape on here. I have skinny. Skinny goldy washi tape. If I can find the end, is this the end? Yes, here we go. Okay, just to rip it off. Oh, I like that on there. That looks pretty. And you know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm going to put some goldy right there on the bottom, too. Oh, that looks nice. I like that. It's green, this little, it's a half a label. It's a half a label, and I'm going to put it right above the teapot, which is green, and there's green on the side. Now, isn't that pretty? That looks pretty. Okay, so there's three done. Let me get these other ones here. And this is the shoe. The shoe is there. Oh, I do have my ladies. Where are the ladies? She's just making it on here. I wonder if she'll fit better. Yeah, she'll fit better there. So we'll put her off to the side. That is pretty. I like that. That's nice. Tenderness. I just, I love these dictionary definitions. I think they're so nice to have on here. We could do, well, no, not that one. The flower looks pretty on there, too. We just ink this. This I don't need to ink. Is that too many numbers? Right underneath the clock. Okay, so we're gonna do that and that. And what else did I have in my mind here? I had something that I saw. Maybe it was this here a little. Oh, 
Okay, but you know, I think I'm going to, I think I'm going to put red. I think I'm going to put red around the flower just a little bit. You know, because there's pink in the flower over there. And this way I bring a little bit of that, of the red in. Let's see how that looks. I'm just going to put the clock down there because I know that's where I want it. Or a watch. It's a watch. So if I put the flower over here, So these are really great for using in your journal and and I love to um to to cut up these glue books and use them you know you can even cut them big enough and then cut them like like maybe this size so you can you know make a booklet fold it over and have a pad on the inside. I've done that a few times also. It's a good way to use up your papers. Oh, you know what I do have? I have these, but I always have a problem getting them out. They seem to be glued down or something. But I like them. They're so pretty. Look at this. Mind over matter. It's a nice long one. Oh, it must be another one that I had trouble with. I'm just going to put some glue stick on there just to give it a little more stickiness. Okay, that looks nice. I'm just using my my brush that has the the red on it to give it a little pinkiness. This could even be a tuck spot where you would put a journaling card behind it. So I like it this way, so I think I'm going to leave this, and however I use it is how I'm going to use it. Okay, so I'm going to use this one with the lady because she fits really good on here, and I do have an umbrella for her. Oh, here it is. Although... Maybe it'll, it'll be better here, this way. No, maybe in the front of her. Or maybe the umbrella is just too big. Actually, I could cut part of that off and just have the umbrella this way. But I think it has to go in the front of her. Oh my goodness, look at what I'm doing here. She'll be right down to the... I think I'm in it. I'm just going to snip a part of this little, the top of this umbrella off. Maybe that was just too long. Yeah, 
It looks really huge, doesn't it? I am sorry about that, guys. Um, someone was at my door. I had to answer that. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do is this here. I'm going to put this lady with the umbrella. So I'm going to have to, I'm going to glue it all down before things start to move. And then, I, and then I'm going to start questioning what I want to do here. Okay. Okay, let's see. Oh my goodness. This is going to be a noisy video. Okay, I am sorry about that. And, um, oh my goodness. Let's see if I can finish up again before I have another interruption. Oh my goodness, isn't that what happens? No, just over here. Okay, so this is looking good. Okay, so I am liking that. I'm just trying to see if I need something else over here. I don't know why I want to bring these in. I can... I think what I may do is just like cut part of these flowers off. And just keep them on the bottom by her skirt, by the bottom of her dress. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, I think I'm going to stick it right down there on the bottom. have to be careful I don't get this on my mat. And this glue is very gloppy right now. Okay, that looks nice. Now, do I want anything else over here? Do I need anything else? I do have a... Oh, there's no place for that butterfly. a little part of the um I don't know why I like doing that but you know what maybe a piece of this flower that I cut off I'll just put it up here for color just to bring in some some pink color over there just to get rid of it off the uh, desk here so I don't have to Put it away or throw it away. Okay, that looks nice. I like that one. And let's see, I have one left. I have one left here, and it's the clock. And I'm thinking I'll bring a a bird in here. Well, let's see. Let's see what I have. I have a butterfly. I may just have to be peace. 
piecing all this together. I like this white flower. I think I may cut it off here. I don't know what this is. Is it a lily? So I, oh, that's pretty. So I covered it with pink. I outlined it with I'm wondering if I should bring more of this. I'm going to do that. Let's see. I'm just using this as a guide. So I could put this tissue paper down. Just so that I have some color on here. And of course, with this tissue paper, it has pretty texture. make this a little bit darker. Okay. And let's see what else I have here. Just trying to see if, here's a nice long one that says, enjoy the journey. Let's see if I can get this up and put it right in the middle. I mean, I don't know how it's gonna, but I think this is just gonna be Taking a chance and putting it down. Although I'm covering it up. I wonder if I could try and pick it up and put it higher. Ooh, okay. That was pretty good. But it is glue stick, so that came up pretty easy. Okay. Now where's my butterfly? I'm going to stick the butterfly on there. Oh, that looks so pretty. This is a nice spring one. A nice springy card. Okay. So I'm wondering if I'm going to put this word here, tenderness, down. I'm covering up this whole clock, basically. Okay, so I'm going to use the, the wet glue, or this is my art glitter glue. I'm 
I put it in this little bottle because it's easier to um, to use it instead of the uh, this hair size. It's always here right beside me, but but I like using the um, the smaller bottle. Okay, this is looking good. I like the way it turned out. I like the way all of these turned out. Oh, let me see if I can stick this somewhere so I don't have to put it away or throw it away. You can always stick these flowers somewhere, right? It's not a lot. It's a little bit. Some place that looks like they really need flowers. This one does not. This one really does not. I like this without flowers. I think it's so pretty just the way it is. This one is fine. I think I could stick it. I think that looks nice there. Or there. I think I'm going to put it behind her. Right behind her. Okay. So here we go. Now this is just a little snippet of what what I do with the glue books. Everything sticks to this mat. So either I cut them up a certain way, the way I see how the the decorations have gone, or I just turn it around and cut it blindly, which I've done many times, and I'm liking the way these turned out. So what I have to do now is I will back these up with coffee dyed paper or go through my book again and cover them like I did with the, which one? It'll be the last one I pick up, like with this one. I probably have this one covered also. Yes, two of them. Okay, so thank you so much for coming along and joining me, and we'll talk soon. You have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.